In this video, I'm going to show you how to absolutely bomb deep halves from the Gun Bunch in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become through doing tips and strategies every single day that can help you out on both sides of the football, offensive tips and defensive tips. So if that interests you, if you want to get better at this game, I would encourage you to subscribe to the channel. It's completely free to do that. Now, I just released my first offensive guide of the Madden 22 season out of the Seattle Seahawks uh, gun bunch. I think this is the best offense in the game. It's definitely the best offense in the game right now, and it's more than likely going to stay that way for the majority of the season. I don't think that the, some of the patches that they're talking about from a zones perspective is necessarily going to change the fact that this offense out of Seattle is abs absolutely lethal. That being said, if you purchase the guide today, we are going to be updating this guide throughout the course of a couple of patches as patches come out and things get patched we will definitely be updating this a little bit along the way so that that makes sure that you have the most up-to-date version of the gun bunch offense now that also being said um, we are talking today about not just tampa 2 we are going to go over tampa 2 in this video but we're also going to talk about cover three invert i think this is a coverage that some players are still running in Madden 22 so I wanted to kind of deal with that in this video and talk with you about how you can absolutely just torch it uh, in this year's game it's not good at all um, and we're gonna go over that in this video so anyways I'm coming out in the uh, Mike Blitz 3 but I've got the Tampa 2 and everything else in my audibles and then on offense we're gonna use this play clear out SE out now a lot of people have kind of moved away from this play in this year's game I personally still believe that clear out se out is the best uh b best gun bunch bombing play um this or the uh clear out fl in out of the uh washington playbook but seattle has bunch tight in and a lot of other really money plays and you can still get basically the same concept so anyways we're going over clear out se out and how you can use this first and foremost against tampa 2 and then we're also going to go over like a couple different types of deep paths that you're going to see in this game so um, and that's not just cover two it's going to be over cover three cover four and all that stuff so anyways let's dive into the video so what you're going to do as far as the setup is concerned is you're just going to uh streak the r1 receiver and that's going to be basically all you have to do and what you'll see is that the circle receiver um, especially against cover two is an automatic one play score as you see right there if they run cover two you don't have to motion them out don't have to do anything and you could just be beating cover two over the top for a one play touchdown every single time really simple we don't have to really deal with cover two uh, anymore i do want to talk quickly about an inside third so let's say that they put their middle linebacker out of the cover two into an inside third maybe they do some you know extra coverage on the field um, and I just wanted to show you this play against that adjustment. So the other adjustment I like to do is put the running back on an in route. The reason why is because the running back in routes and running back out routes this year are really, really good against man. So it just kind of gives me a check down if I were to need something to check down too. Okay. Uh, but anyways, as you see here, if they run that cover two, you're just going to get that over the top of the cover two every single time for a one play score. So that's an easy way to be able to just absolutely kill cover two. If you have gunslinger, it's going to be even better than that. Now I wanted to go over uh, cover three. So one of the things that, one of the tactics last year that people would do, especially for cover three bombs, is they would basically put the outside corners in deep half. So as you see here, they're in a deep half zone. And this year, that is not a very successful tactic, at least right now. Um, this could change, but right now, this zone is not going to do what they want it to do. You're going to see, because of this stock fade that we get out of clear out, it's a very special route. Um, and not really found in a lot of different plays in this game what you're going to see is that it's going to basically just completely glitch out that deep half as you see he glitches to the inside and then i can just pass like that over the top of his head for an absolute laser every single time against the cover three defense now another way that you could run this that might be just a little bit better in terms of specifically against the cover three style defensive approach um, with the deep halves what you're going to do is you're going to put the tight end on a streak and the R1 receiver is going to go on a flat route. And what you're going to see here, it's just going to get the circle receiver like just a little bit more open, as you can see. And again, you're killing cover three in Berg for a one play score. That being said, um, I wanted to shift gears 
now and I wanted to talk specifically uh, in this video about cover four, uh, cover four match. And so one of the popular tactics at a cover four match to kind of protect the match is to take this guy right here and put him on a deep half. So I wanted to kind of go over what this, what this uh, setup here is gonna do against that. So here's your setup, real simple. We're just really attacking vertically. And what you're gonna see is this deep half is gonna get sucked in. So I'm just gonna basically lob it over the top. You see that the circle receiver gets a step on him. And as you can see, we're able to beat cover four quarters over the top for an absolute laser. Let me show you that one more time. So again, all I'm doing is I am just simply um, putting the corner or the safety into a deep half. Most people think that that protects their quarters coverage. I'm here to tell you that it's not going to. You're going to see that the circle receiver is gonna get this kind of instant separation and then you're just gonna lob it over the top to the right. The one thing with lobs this year is it's, they are a little bit, I'm trying to figure out how to say this, they're just a little bit weird. Um, the way they work, they really hang up in the air a long time this year. Um, they, it, that's just kind of what I've seen. So it's really important when you throw a lob this year that you like throw it and like basically really hold the pass lead after you're done and make sure you throw it early enough so it doesn't go out of his range so you're gonna see your lob outside lead and that's what we're looking that's what we're looking for we just want to make sure we catch that um and again right there i probably threw that just a little bit too early but you see kind of the concept um so now what i want to do is i want to show you another adjustment and that's to put this guy on an inside third so if they put that quarter zone on an inside third what you're going to see here is the inside third um, does decent and then you can just simply check it down to your tight end over there or your running back the inside third is kind of the better tactic in my opinion um, if you're going to play quarters coverage that's probably the best way to go um, at least right now um, given the state of deep halves in this game so anyways guys this is a incredible passing concept in my opinion um, not only, it, it's a very vertical um, down the field type of approach so if you're you know if you're struggling to beat you know Tampa 2 or you're struggling to be um, cover 3 invert this is a really simple way um, that you can do this this is also and I want to go over this just kind of as a, another just another qualifier uh, within this play this setup is one of my favorite setups in the game because it not only beats those coverages but it also because I get a lot of match coverage at least right now because I feel like people just don't know what to do so they're like I'll just call match and try to confuse you um, so if you get match coverage this R1 receiver is always going to be open against match you see right here quarters coverage every single time that guy's going to be open on the streak for a one place score so that's why I really like this play and then if they deep half you saw that we're able to beat the deep half um, let me just show you that one more time. So again, if they deep half on that side, which is going to be the first thing that they're going to do, I guarantee you they're going to deep half. Um, so they make that deep half adjustment. And then you see here that I've got the circle receiver wide open. And here, this is where you just got to make sure that, you know, you see how that ball just hangs up there forever, but we're able to get that over the top for a one place score. So anyways, guys, and then of course, like I said, uh, Tampa two, one of the popular things, and I can't quite show it in this year's, or uh, in the practice mode because of the zone drop problem, we're not able to set our zone drops, but if they were to set their zone drops, um, that flat, that cloud flat would hang with them a lot longer, but what you'll see is it's not going to matter because he has this outside position and that's really what's killing the coverage over the top. So it, whether they set zone drops or not, it's not going to make a difference on the openness of that route. So this is just a way that you can use this, this concept to pretty much beat every single coverage with the exception of a cover three. And then if they do run cover three, there's other things that we can do within this offense. This That play does sometimes actually beat cover three, but it's not the best play for cover three. I have other plays in our playbook. And if you want to learn my full Seattle Seahawks gun bunch offensive guide, I would encourage you to pick it up. It's down in the description. It's just 15 bucks, super cheap. And like I said, we're going to continue to kind of update it as we kind of settle into what Madden 22 is going to be as far as what are the zone, what are the, what is the patch they've been talking about for the zone coverages, how they're going to change zone. And we'll be sharing all of those updates with you. That being said, with this, without this bomb play, bunch is still the best offense in the game. And this bomb play just makes it even more powerful. So super high powered offense. Thanks for watching. And if you want to pick it up, it's down in the description, over four hours of video content. And we're going to be adding probably four more hours 
in terms of just breakdowns and setups and concepts that you can use, not just from the bunch. We're gonna add the bunch tied in, the trip tied in offset, the pistol ace, uh, the deuce close, a lot of really good stuff in that Seattle playbook in my opinion. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you wanna get that, that Seattle guide, it's available for just 15 bucks at the link down in the description.